Okay, we're working on a 1987 Volkswagen Golf with a 1997 VR6 engine swap. And what was this engine out of? The Passat. A Passat. And so you swapped the computer, harness, everything, so you did it right, that's cool. Uh, what we're addressing here is a thermistor circuit, an intake air temperature, that's the code I have pulled up here. On this bank, it says uh, intake air temp sensor circuit high bank one. What I want to show you guys very fast is how to check a thermistor circuit using scan data and then how to check it also using a voltmeter. So the first thing is going to be scan data. Let's look at our data parameter. Alright, the one we're looking at right here is this intake air temp sensor and to speed this data process up a little bit I'm just going to select that one because this thing is super slow so we're reading minus 40 degrees and what this is suggesting is an open in the circuit where is this open is the question is it the signal wire is it the ground wire is it the sensor itself that's where we're at when we see negative 40 degrees so very simply if we unplug this sensor and jump the pins together if we can max out the temperature that tells you your wiring is good and that your sensor is open so that's the test we're going to do is unplug that sensor and jump it all right so what I'm going to show you is just a very simple test just taking the connector it's now unplugged and I'm jumping the two pins together and I made this jumper so I'm not going to spread the pins these are a terminal the regular terminal size jump the pins together if our wiring is good scan data is going to react and go to the maximum temperature reading designed for this car which happens to be 285 degrees nothing wrong with the wiring on this definitely an open in the sensor show you one other method it's going to be with the voltmeter. Looks like, uh, Chris, you took the clip off of this. Yeah. No big deal for us for now. So plug this back in. You see scan data is still minus 40. Two simple voltage measurements is all we need to do. If you did not have scan data and all you had was a trouble code to go by, you can still do it. It's going to be the back probe. Both wires one at a time hand out of the way in a second. So we have 4.69 volts on that wire. It's a little bit low for a reference. I would have expected to see something closer to 5. But I've seen lower reference voltages before. I'm okay with this number, this 469. The next reading tells us everything, which is going to be the ground pin. We want to make sure that this ground is not also 4.6 volts you see on that sensor ground it's floating around a little bit why there's no flow through this it's an open zero volts on that sensor ground let's make sure we're getting that zero volts on the sensor ground so what's that tell you where is our open our open is in the sensor itself. 